Hi YouTube. Today we're going to learn how to improve the performance and speed of TurboLister. When you've been using TurboLister for a while, you'll notice that the speed starts to slow down, it starts to lag a little bit, get a little lethargic. There are several different ways that you can apply to go ahead and try to refresh your TurboLister system. One of the ways is to delete unnecessary items from your inventory section. There's a couple different ways to delete them. You can just select the items that you want, click delete. You can right click and delete. You can use the delete key on your keyboard. So I recommend keeping your inventory pretty fresh. If you've got items in there that you know you're not going to use again, I go ahead and delete those out. Your activity log, every time you upload an item to eBay or you end a listing from Tur from TurboLister to eBay, it's going to create a log of that action. So pretty soon this is going to start to fill up with items as well. I usually say don't let it get more than a couple hundred items in here before you start to clear it out. Just like before, you can select groups of items at a time. Um, if there's only a couple hundred items, you can do a control A to select all and then delete them that way. Now, something else that's recommended is to run updates. So you're going to go to your tools menu, do check for program updates. Okay, as you can see, there are data updates. So I'm going to go in ahead and install. I'm not going to read, you know, worry about creating a backup. If you had hit OK on that, that would have started a backup. So you're going to want to check for updates pretty regularly to make sure your TurboLister stays in running order. Another thing that you're going to want to do is compacting the database. That's found under your Tools menu. So Tools, Compact Database. It basically just tells you it's going to compact your database, free up some space on your drive. And click OK. Perfect. Now, one of the final things you can do to free up your TurboLister and to help it run more smoothly is to delete your listing activity section. Now, this is not something that, you, that you're going to do manually. This is something that you're going to do on the back end. So what I'm going to do is show you how to go through your C drive to find your listing activity database and how to delete it. Now keep in mind, when you delete the listing activity database, it does not affect your inventory items. It'll just clear out listing activity. What you're going to want to do first is to end your TurboLister, because TurboLister should be shut down when you're deleting things from the database. So I have a Windows 8 machine. You're going to come up here to the right corner. You're going to select Search type in PC. What you're looking for is this PC. Now if you're on an XP, the settings are a little bit different. You're going to be checking for, um, you're going to be going to where it says My Computer. If you're on Vista or 7, you're going to be looking for where it says just Computer. Uh, Windows 10 as of now is not supported. So we're going to click this PC, we're going to click into the C drive. What we're looking for is a folder called Program Data. Typically it's found beneath Program Files in this view. Now if you don't see Program Data, that indicates that it's hidden and we'll have to unhide it through the control panel. Now if you are on Windows XP, and after you come to the C drive, instead of looking for the program data folder, what you would do instead is you would go to documents and settings, then you'd go to all users, then eBay, TurboLister 2, then data. So again, for, for XP, it's a bit different. It's You're going to go to computer, you're going to go to your C drive, you're going to go to documents and settings, then you're going to go all users, eBay folder, TurboLister 2 folder, data folder. 
for the rest of us, if you don't see program data, that just means it's hidden, so we have to go to Control Panel to unhide it. Now, from the Control Panel, you're going to select Appearance and Personalization. If you don't have Appearance and Personalization, you're going to have something just called Folder Options, and you can click into that as well. But we don't have Folder Options at this stage, so we're doing Appearance and Personalization. Now we have Folder Options. And you can click into this and select View to get to the show hidden files and folders and drives, or you could just click this. It would immediately take you to here. But you can see right now that we have it on Don't Show, so we want to select Show, Apply, OK. Now we can click out of the control panel, back into our C drive. You'll now see there's a program data folder. It's a little bit lighter in color, the folder itself, and that's how you can tell that it's typically a hidden folder. Let's click into Program Data, eBay, Turbo Lister 2, and Data. Now, when you're deleting the listing activity database, you're looking for the folder and a file that has your eBay ID and the word listing. So you can see here, Sympathetic Soap Listing, Sympathetic Soap Listing. One's a folder, one is a TDB file. When you're deleting the listing activity database, you want to delete these files and only these files. So let's say that my Folkshot account is doing fine, so I wouldn't need to delete that. We'll go ahead and click delete. Those are gone, perfect. You don't want to mess with any of the other folders or files that are in here. Go ahead and click out of here and restart TurboLister. All right, and you can see your listing activity is reset back down to zero. So to recap, things you can do to improve the speed and performance of your TurboLister, you can clear out your activity log, you can clear out unneeded items from your inventory section, you can check for program updates, you can compact the database, and you can delete the listing activity database on the back end administratively through your C drive. Keep watching for more videos on how to stock up your eBay arsenal.